Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. Today we are doing a short barrel test with Liberty Defense ammo. We have 9mm in the Glock 43 with its 3.39 inch barrel. The P2000SK, I think it has the same length barrel, 3.39 inches if I'm not mistaken, but this is an aftermarket barrel in 357 SIG. So we get to add in the 357 SIG at this point. We have the 3.1 inch 40 shield Smith & Wesson. We have the SIG P239 with its 3.6 inch barrel. The Glock 30 with its 3.77 inch or 3.78 inch barrel. And 3.7 inch 9 in the Glock 29. 10 millimeter, I've already shot all these unfortunately during the testing. But if you have 357 SIG, supposed to be going 23 feet per second, 2300 feet per second. And the 45 is supposed to be going 1900. And the 40 is supposed to be going 2000. And the 9mm is supposed to be going 2000 as well. So let me pull one of these out. I'll show you, show you what they look like. So here's what they look like. They're, they look almost like an aluminum hollow bullet. Uh, I'm sure they're copper, not aluminum. But there they are. See little phalanges on the jacketed hollow point. And they're supposed to be flying, so we'll see how fast they're going over the chronograph. And then we're going to do a ballistic shell test with all five. Here we are. Short barrel test. Glock 43, Liberty Defense. The real lightweight bullets supposed to be going super fast. Let's see what we get on them. 2069. 2078. 2046. Not bad for a little Glock 43. Box says they're supposed to be getting a little bit more than that, so they're about right where they should be. 40 Smith & Wesson out of a shield. Eighteen ninety nine. Nineteen eleven. Nineteen oh eight. So about 100 feet per second less it should have got that's good that's, that's about what it should be then 40 smith and wesson 40 smith and wesson out of the sig 239 2047 2013 1999 of course i always ride the slide release on this gun it never locks open for me so there we are P2000SK, 357 SIG. All right, Chook's gun. It was a 40 Smith & Wesson. They put a 357 SIG barrel in it. Here we go. Twenty-two twenty-six. wow. 22, 25, 55, 22, 55. 22, And so I'm riding the slide release there too, somehow. Gun doesn't fit in my hand, that's okay. That's not bad for that little barrel, a little 3.1 inch barrel or something like that. Here we go. Block 30, 45 ACP. 1830, 1858, 1842. Nice to get back to Glock where the slide locks open for me. There we go. Not bad in the 1840 range. And everybody's favorite, the best millimeter for me, if you haven't seen that song. Here we go, 10 millimeter, Glock 29. 2179, oh, I, I, I didn't get a read. 2225, let me put a couple more in there, see if we get a read with 10 millimeter. Here we go. 2203. 2217. Not bad. They're getting a little bit less than what the box does, but still very, very high speed. Now we're going to do the add up slide and show you all the numbers on these, and then we're going to do a ballistics gel test on these. 
So here is our add up slide. You can pause the video now and read the numbers if you really care about the numbers. Our penetration test is next. I'd like to thank the person who donated this ammo to the channel to test on the channel. Here we are back after the add up slide. I've got Glock 43. We're going to do a ballistic gel block and some denim. It's a 16 inch ballistic gel block. They're supposed to penetrate 15 inch. We'll see about that. We got four layers of denim. Glock 43, then we got the P2000SK, then we got the 40 Shield, then we got the, tw the Model 30 and 45, and we got the 10 millimeter after that. Here we go. All right, got a nice little hole in there. Let me reset it up. Next, we have the P2000SK 357 SIG. Loan to us by Jigs Outdoor Adventures. Make sure you go subscribe to him. All right. Now we have the shield with the 40. Not bad. Block 30, 45 ACP. All right, hit it along the edge. go. Liberty Defense, Glock 29, 10 millimeter. All right, I got it pretty far away from the 9 and the 40, but not maybe not far enough for this type of ammo. Let's see how we did. Okay, so we got our ballistic shield block here. You see it went through the denim rather easily. And this is the nine, this is the 40, this is the three, or this is the 357 SIG, this is the 40, this is the 45. I had the first 45 shot I took in take one actually go down the side here and uh, I, I had the cloth too far over and missed the block and just got the side of it. So I had to shoot the 45 again. So that's the second 45 right there. And then this is the 10 millimeter. I was trying to go a little bit higher. I should have gone right in here. It is a little bit close, but you can come, you can see all these petals flying off right here. So we're gonna cut this block open and see what we can get out of it. All right, so let's cut out of it. I see a bullet right here. I'm gonna go ahead. This is about 13 inches in depth. And this is just the base of the bullets. All you're going to find. I don't know if they make these out of aluminum or copper or what, but that's all you're going to find except for some petals that it caught. So I'm going to cut right along in here. See how many more we got. Uh, it looks like right where I cut, there's two of them. There's the nine mil. And I think based on its position, that's the 10 millimeter right there. Yep. That's the 10 millimeter, the 40, the 9 mil. They did some twisting in there, it looks like. And let's see. I don't see any more pedals. Oh, yeah, there's one down in here. This looks like it might be the 357 SIG. Actually, hmm. That might be the, the 45. It's bigger. That's the 45. Way back here, it must have crossed somehow. Yeah, came out right in there and buried itself. So we got one more to find. Looks like it's the 357 Sig or the. 
nine mil, one of the two. I don't think the nine millimeter came out the side. I didn't see any side and nothing came out the back. Thought I saw something in here. Oh, there it is. Went kind of low. This is the 357 SIG right here. So, the farthest one was the 10 millimeter, and then the 45 also went decently far. The 40, and then the 9's here, and the 357 SIG is there. And then you can see up in this front part of the block all of this messed up block right here where the wound cavity is and you can see all of those fragments in there all of those fragments of the of the ammo so that's liberty defense ammo the not the 357 sig had the worst penetration with that ammo it was at the uh maybe the six to six to eight inch mark and everything else penetrated 12 to 14 inches so put what you think about this in the comments. 9 versus 40 versus 357 SIG versus 45 versus 10 millimeter short barrel test. Do you think this ammo is viable for self-defense? Obviously, it's not bear defense rounds in Alaska. Put what you think in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. We are on YouTube, Patreon, Subscribestar. We need help there because YouTube sometimes blocks our videos and doesn't share them very much. We're on Instagram and Facebook. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.